Right, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I am inspired to do a little streetscape of a lovely little town here in Australia. So I'm going to start um, practicing a new technique I learnt off a fella I was watching here on YouTube, which is to do the roof line, get your perspective, get rough shapes, don't be so fussed on complete detail. Got to, I can adjust things even if I've got the perspective a little bit wrong to begin with I can adjust it so I'm just going measuring everything against everything else so these this little roof line like that and it goes down on a slight tilt because it's going off into the distance so everything the lines run downwards there's three of these little roofs Four of them actually, but it doesn't matter. Like that. Then, so I'm getting the roof lines in, keeping the perspective going in the right direction. This is a lovely little Australian country town. So we're looking downhill towards these buildings. And this is fun to practice because it's teaching me to relax a bit with my art, not be so fussy with detail, even though I'm not the most perfect of drawers. I tend to get bogged down in detail, so this is a good way to teach me not to. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I think I'll just, these can just all disappear off into the distance. Like that. And there's some trees back over here. Let's pop those in there. Okay. So now I'm going to come down to about street level. About there. And I'm going to draw in that line. And it sort of goes back up again a bit that way. There's a fountain here. So I'll draw that in. Get that to about... That's the base of the fountain. In the middle of the road as you do. Just draw it in roughly. Oh it's not a fountain, it's a light. There we go. <laughs> See, I, I'm not very observant. There we go, it's a light. I thought it was a fountain because we have fountains like this all around Australia. Uh, it's got a bit of a thing there. Get that in there. Go up to the top of it. And then it's got these old sort of lamps like that. Come down on that side. Trying not to be too fussy with detail. I want it to be a little bit more relaxed than I normally do. So, and then there's all cobbles coming around here. Okay, so I'm going to take that up. There's a footpath there. That's the road here. I'm going to attempt cars. <laughs> the video I watched this morning, the fella did an amazing job and just inspired me to have a go. Because I have a phobia of drawing cars, <laughs> so I need to practice. Um, so I thought that was it made me giggle. It did make me giggle. Because I'm like, uh-oh. I have a car drawing phobia because of the wheels. Wheels scare me. <laughs> okay, so these buildings come down. The, the, I need to not get fast in detail. I'm getting stuck in detail again. So come down there like that. Then there's a veranda that goes across the whole front of all of these shops. Like that. Then that's like paling. that. Then the little veranda bit at the front. Come down here. I was impressed with this fella how he, he um, connected all the skylines. I'll pop a link to this the guy's channel in my um, uh, 
description below is an amazing amazing artist that I've found here on YouTube so yeah, I'll pop a link to him below and I would love you to go and check out his channel I've gone completely blank at the second I'm thinking about drawing so names and words have fallen out but I'll have a link to the fella that inspired me to try this his channel um, below an amazing art teacher amazing at, he's amazing at describing how to do things so I will pop his link there for you um, yeah very inspired so I'm gonna come down here pop in these little a lot because we have such a hot town like hot towns it's very hot here like in summers we can get well into the, the low 40s some parts of Australia even get as high as 50 Celsius which is well in the, into the low hundreds Fahrenheit so a lot of our streets have verandas our, our town our shops have verandas and these are very old shops these this is a hundred year old 120 year old town um, one of our historical towns and I'm lucky enough to live in an area that has these so I get to you know I can just go for a drive and for a day and go and see these places which I'm very lucky very blessed I've got to connect that to that I'm going to try and be a bit more relaxed so that's another veranda of another shop I've got to remember the angles the angles are going down okay so now this building down like that, it's like a town hall this one, it's got a solid bricky top on it. And you can't see the windows, which is um, this, you can just see sort of shapes of the windows which is good because I'm not going to get bogged down, I'm just going to try and do it a little Quite loose. I can only see one side of this street too, so I can't see both sides in this photograph. So that takes a bit of pressure off too. I can that this one side just takes off that whole takes fills up the whole painting. All of that's going to be in shadow under there, like that. Now what's that building? This is an old pub. This one next to it. Um, and it's not exactly like the town, it's, I've, I've varied it a little bit. I've got to take the angle down like that, like that. It's another longer sort of building. So yeah, this is an old pub with a double storey veranda. disappearing off into the distance like that he's got a veranda around him so I'll just draw that on there like that and I can only see the front bits like that same as this one down here and I'm only going to add a smidge of colour I'm not going to go rogue with colour whoops doesn't matter if I've got squiggly lights I can draw another little sort of shop coming down there all right, so I'm going to come back to this front building. You can see, you can see shop windows in here, but I'm not going to be too terribly fussy with them. I'll draw one about the center of each of these. And there's sort of doors next to them like that. They're little, almost terraces. They're like terrace shops. I suppose you'd say that's what they are. Like that. And you can just, I'll just suggest the windows of this shop down here. I can't really see much detail coming down this way. Pop that in there like that because that's got little dressy bits that come around there. Veranda posts on the roof, like that. And then he's got pretty little decorations on top. Like that. OK, 
okay, I'm quite happy with that. That's not too bad. Because it sort of does go up. I'm going to do, or do, I'm going to try cars. I'm going to try cars because this dude said to have, showed how to do it. I'm going to be brave. So I'm going to pop one in here in perspective with where the shop is. Like that. I'm just going to suggest it. I'm not going to be too fussed. I'm going to be brave, but not too fussy. Forget the windows. Forget the. I'm just going to do a window like that. There we go. <laughs> That's as close as to a car as I'm getting. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. Um, they're all four-wheel drives. I've just noticed they're all they're all four-wheel drives because country town, you tend to need four-wheel drives to get around anywhere because the roads are pretty pretty rugged. Okay. Like that. And I'm going to drop another, I'll pop a little sedan-y looking one there, like that. And I'll draw another little car just a little bit further up. So I pop another little one further up, and there we go. All right, so that's as many cars as I'm going to have. That's all in shadow. I will pop some windows sort of. I can just almost just see like windows going off into the distance on that, like that. There we go. Now, I can have a little bit of detail on this one in the foreground. I'll just do these windows. They come up to about the same height here. square sort of building. And then he's got arches on the bottom. So I pop those in. They're just arch windows, but I pop them in down the bottom. Like that. And he can disappear off the page at the front. I'm not taking it right to the edge, like that. Can't see the door, the door's off here somewhere. So I'm just going to do window detail there. These are brick, big sandstone. You can't really see the windows, they're just dark blobs. Just fine. There's like window silly bits that go there. So trying to relax and not do too fussy uh, the details. Okay, and like blue stone edging on the road because a lot of our towns, when it was back in horse and carriage days, had blue stone flagging on the sides. And they still have them. A lot of our towns have kept their historical prettiness. There's a town right near me, two towns right near me that are absolutely beautiful. So I might actually go with a friend today and paint and draw those. Because we were talking last night about going out and doing some plein air practice. So that's what we're going to do today. Whether it's country scenes or not, I'm not sure, but we'll go with the flow because we're both sort of wildlife artists. And we have lots of wildlife around here, which is good. So this is bluestone too. So I'm just going to rough in the shape of that. Then there's another little pedestal up top, like that. Okay. 
and I'll add a bit more detail onto that just because it's sort of in the focus of the front of the picture. Right, so I'm happy with that, I think. Um, and we have, it has a couple little posts there. Because a lot of our old towns, because people used to take their horses and stuff too, even in my lifetime, um, our town, the town that I live in, in my lifetime, the last 20 years, I used to ride my horse down to the pub. Um, it's that sort of relaxed country town. And we still have tie rails and water troughs and things like that. Um, they've kept them sort of more for historical value now, but in my lifetime, we used to ride our horses to the restaurants. And I used to ride my horse to the shop. <laughs> As you do. So it's been a, a blessed life. It's a beautiful... I love living in Australian country towns. It doesn't get much better, I have to tell you. Okay, so that's going to do. And I am going to try to just keep it simple, simple, simple. I'm not going to do a whole lot of, of um, colour detail. I'm just going to add a little bit enough to suggest what's here now we've got quite like I said it's it's Australia it's hot so everything's going to be warmer tones because um, usually like even today we're, we're looking at I don't know what it is about 30 something Celsius and everything's got it's got a, a gold light to it. it really does summer mornings you get a really gold light and, and our sandstone buildings reflect that really nicely. So I'm just going to take that wash across the top of all of these buildings. There's a few clouds in the sky in this reference, but um, I will... Um, oh, that then one at the end's a red bit, but that's fine. I can actually... When I get to it, I'll add a little bit of red. And the tops of the verandas are grey. So I'm going to mix up a bit of grey that I've got here. A bit of blue, a bit of brown makes grey. I'll make a bluey grey. Make a nice bluey grey. Excuse the lawnmower's in the background. I can hear that going off in the background. Okay, I'm just literally going to go over the top of that. All of these are tin. We have tin roofs, a lot of tin roofs because we catch the water for the for drinking. So we have tin roofs here a lot of the time because yeah they catch water the best. And I'm going to use like an indigo in the windows I reckon. I'm going to go indigo in the windows because the insides of the windows are dark and you can barely see it. So use my nice indigo doesn't matter if it goes off a bit because I'm trying to be a bit more relaxed less fussy with it try try just to suggest the street I didn't do people I've got to draw people in but I can draw them in after that's what I forgot <laughs> that's okay we can add them in a little bit let's do that and this is all still wet so it is going to blend in amongst itself a little bit and I don't mind that that's part of the fun of learning to be a bit looser in my work. Now this is green, this is a heritage green veranda, um, veranda post, the front here. So I'm going to just pop that in like that. Got a bit more heritage greeny bit down there. It's not heritage green, what is it? This is uh, a little bit of olive, olive green. Lots of greens and golds in Australia. And again, those that concrete or concrete, blue stone is blue. It is blue stone. It looks blue. It actually blue grey. So that's the perfect colour for that. So I'm just using the same colour that I use for the windows. And I'll also take that around the edge there. Okay, I'm going to have a break from that for a second and I am going to do the sky. Now we've got a beautiful blue sky. So I'm just going to go with my cobalt, cobalt blue in a thin wash and I'm going to run that right along the tops. I need it a bit stronger than that, a little bit stronger than that, like that. 
and I can blop out with my cloth. I've got I always have a bit of hand towel with me, even when I go out plain air I take a little swath of hand towel with me, kitchen towel. And I use it and I go boom 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 and there's my clouds. <laughs> so we've got a beautiful blue sky. I'm gonna go over the top of that again, make it a bit stronger. Because the sky is so 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 clear in this. So I do that, blop out some clouds, and that's done. And while it's still a little bit damp, I'm gonna draw in or just wet in some trees. And that'll all blend in. Like that. Just at the end of town, there's trees in the background. Like that. Go a bit stronger in the middle while it's still wet. Because they're darker over that side. Like that. A little bit darker here. Oop, got to be careful. There we go. It ran onto there, but that's alright, I got it in time. Alright. Cut around a little bit. So our trees are very big, voluptuous trees. All right, come down there and that can disappear off the end of town, like that. I'm developing a new passion for this urban sketching. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. It's completely different to what I always do and I'm absolutely having a blast. Okay, so I'm going, this is really dark indigo, so I'm popping that into the real deep shadow areas. I'm not going to get too bogged down. I've got to be a bit careful. I don't, too, less is more. So I'm just going to blob them in like that. There we go. Keeping it simple. Keeping it as simple as I can. Now the cars. The cars are a bluey grey. So I'm going to make my cars, maybe dark blue, it may be indigo. We'll probably use the same colour on the cars. They're not the focus of the piece. Ooh, a total blobbed. Okay, so but not the focus of the piece. I'll leave the little back of it like that. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's actually okay. Like I said, the fellow that inspired me to have a go at this, I'll link below. He's an amazing, loose, fun artist with a great teaching style. I actually learnt a lot watching, um, especially because I was scared of cars. <laughs> so, so yeah, it was fun to watch because it showed me that all I have to do is do that to suggest them. And I'm like, oh my God, why did I not think of that? That is awesome. So <laughs> So now I'm going to do our roads. Our roads are grey. So I'll go back to my grey blue. The asphalt. So I'll leave a line up the middle because we have lines going up the middle. Try and leave a line up the middle. Coming around there like that. And then you can't see one there. Oops. Go to that blue grey again, like that, and it's just a suggestion, it's not meant to be a photograph, if you want a photograph, take a photograph, if you want a painting, do a painting, <laughs> so I really appreciated, um, yeah, I appreciate the looseness in work, like the impressionist sort of style, and I'm very much learning to be that way, I'm going to Add, I'm going to add a little bit of transparency and a little bit of a ready brown to the veranda's bits because they're wood. Oh, that's a bit strong. I need to weaken that a little bit. So I'm just going to add that along under there because these do have like a little boardwalky bit, wooden verandaries. Right. I need to do people. So I'm going to do... I'm just going to do them with the tip of my brush. I'll wait till that's dry. <laughs> I can do... No, I'm going to wait till that's dry. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to not get ahead of myself. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to start to pop a little bit of shadow with my indigo. Tiny little bit of shadow on these blue stones. Because around this bottom edge is a shadow. Same around this edge. This is not blue. This is more standard sort of bricks down the bottom. So add those, shadow down this entire blue stone run, like that. 
Now, under these cars is shadowed, so I'm going to make a purple, blue and magenta. Makes a nice sort of a purple. And I'm going to add these shadows under these cars and under these buildings because that is all in shadow pretty much. Because yeah, the verandas are shading, so that creates shadowed areas underneath, like that. It's not all just one colour, like that. All right, I'm going to go in with a little bit of raw sienna, or actually yellow ochre. I'll go a little bit of yellow ochre up here. onto the detail bits. I'm not going to fuss with detail, I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in just to darken up the sides to create some shadow areas. A bit, a bit Give a bit more perspective. Oh, and I knocked the camera, sorry about that guy, my head got in the way. Sorry about that guys. Okay, so I'm going to do that again because the sandstone's a bit dirty and it's shadowed on the sides like that trying not to get bogged down in detail like that go under there under there and the trick is knowing, being brave enough to stop I'm going to go back in with my pen now I'm going to go back in with my micron pen and I'm going to go a 03 and I'm going to define a few of these little veranda posts because that has a veranda right around it. Oh, I didn't do the shadow on that one, did I? Or I did, but it's very faint. So, and I can probably draw these people in, so I'm just going to draw a person there. They're walking together with their younger person. Then we'll do another couple down here. Got to have them in the size of their cars. I'll just do, and literally I'm just drawing little triangle shapes. Triangle shapes in pen. It does wonders. I'll have might do another person standing here. And it's literally a dot. And I'll do another one there. They're standing there having a chat. Connect them up. There we go. And that just suggests that there's people there. Um... Okay, I'm going to draw the veranda post down here, like that. Okay, now I'm going to draw little tail lighty things, because why not? Uh, where's my little tiny brush? What do I do with it? Oh no, I put my brush down. There it is, found it. It's all good. And I'm going to do tail lights on these cars, so little yellow tail lights. Little ye oh, yeah, little brake lights actually, so they're going to be red, aren't they? So I'll go a little red. Oh god, my brush has gone all hairy. I'll we'll go red tail light. That'll just send them a little bit orange. No, I don't care, that's fine. It's just a fun picture. And I'm going to go a little bit of yellow onto these lamps. Like that. I've got to go the green on the top because I haven't done the this bit that I forgot. Like that. Just suggest it. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit of orange to the back of that because it's a little bit too bright yellow. Do that. There we go. That just gives those a bit of a bit of a zing, a bit of a lift. And I am going to call that done. So thank you for watching, everyone. Um, thank you for coming on my art journey and learning new things with me. So, yeah, this was a very fun, loose, simple watercolour sketch, um, which I'm really getting into these urban sketches now. So I hope you will enjoy coming along this artistic journey with me. Again, I will have a link below to the fella who inspired me to give this a go. Um, I would love you to go and check out his channel. And yeah, have an awesome day. Thank you so much. And I will see you next video. Okie doke. Bye.